guys welcome back to the Rand family so today's video is going to be what I got my kids for Christmas 2021 so if you're new here hi my name is Brittany I do have three girls Layla who is a Aurora is about to be four a couple days before Christmas and then Jade who is my one-year-old so I have quite a bit of gifts to share with you guys as always links will be down below in the description and then I will also have my like to know it shop down below that way you guys can get some more Christmas ideas because I did share a few gift guides over there for like toddlers babies and then older kids around Layla's age so make sure you check out the description for everything I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it because my kids are actually all home because my husband Benny he works all the way until it is dark outside so I've been trying to find the perfect time to film this video and I just have not found the perfect time so my kids are home so hopefully they do not hear me they're in their room watching a movie with headphones on so fingers crossed I could get through this so let's just go ahead and jump right into it so I'm gonna start from youngest to oldest so the first gifts I'm going to share with you are for my daughter Jade who is again a year old so I've been done with all of my Christmas shopping since October I know very early but I always try to get a head start on it just because the end of the year is so crazy for us because my husband's birthday is October 16th then Jade's birthday is October 19th Layla's birthday is November 15th mine is November 30th and then Aurora's is December 21st so all of our birthdays are just like boom, 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 back to back in between all of like the major holidays. So I always try to get my Christmas shopping done early. That way I'm not like going into debt by buying everything on one paycheck. So that's kind of how I do my Christmas shopping. There are a few things that are back ordered for Jade. So I'll share pictures on the screen of those things. So the first thing that I have for Jade is a little wooden instrument set. It comes with this little bag that you can store the instruments in. And then it comes with just like a bunch of different instruments. Jade has really been like liking things like this because we have a few like instruments for my older girls and Jade has been like showing a major interest in them. So I figured getting her a little instrument set would be cute. So it just has like a bunch of like little drum things, little rattles, um, just like a bunch of different instruments in here i don't really want to take them all out but there's just like a bunch of different things in here there's also a tambourine in here next is a little elsa toy so this is by the brand fisher price it's their little people line so it's from the newer frozen movie it has elsa and then i believe this is um the no course i'm not too sure but it's from the frozen 2 movie and it like lights up and everything so i thought it was like really cute jade really likes the little people she has toy story ones so i figured she would really like this one because i did get some frozen things for my older girls so i figured i would get jade the baby version so i got her that next i got her some little nesting baskets from the brand love every absolutely love love every you guys know i talk about them all the time here on my channel because we do get their play kits so we have a ton of toys for them they also have like individual toys sold at target now so i got these from target they're just like little felt nesting baskets i figured she would really love these because she likes the little nesting cups she plays with those all the time so she can use these to you know stack them or put them inside of each other and then she can also put like different toys in here we could do like a sorting game with them next thing for jade is a giant wooden rainbow i have been eyeing this off of amazon forever and i finally decided to buy it i think she'll really love it because she really likes to like stack things and just like blocks all that stuff seems to really pique her interest lately so i think she'll really like this because you could stack the pieces on top you can kind of like spread it out make like a tunnel the possibilities for toys like this are endless i really love open-ended toys it just is really beneficial for children the next two things are for her stocking so the first thing is a play silk 
love these we have a ton of these this is from the brand sarah's silk and i've been getting these for the girls in their stockings for the past like i think this is our third year now my girls really love this all of them do they use them as like capes sometimes they tie them on their little wands um sometimes they lay it on the floor and have like a little tea party just a bunch of different uses for this sometimes we will have like a little dance party swing them in the air so they really love these so that's going in her stocking the next thing that is going in her stocking it's just a little wooden ring and then it has like these rainbow streamers so she can just play with it so the next few gifts that i got for jade are back ordered so i haven't gotten them yet so i will put pictures here on the screen so you guys can see what i'm talking about so the first thing is a little musical wooden llama from the company manhattan toy company so many cute toys this company has you can find them off of like amazon target also carries some of their toys so cute highly recommend them every single time i've bought a toy from them the quality is just so good and they have a pretty good price point too so definitely check them out so it's a little wooden musical llama so the tail on the llama is a little rattle um there's like some gears on it there's a xylophone on its back just like a bunch of different fun things for your child to play with so i got her that the next two things are little wooden animals so cute there's like a raccoon a fox a bunny a bear so cute we always love the little like peg people we have a ton of them especially from love every so i know the girls love that so i got her those a previous year i ended up getting those for um aurora but they were just like the normal barn animals so they were like um, a cow a pig so this year for jade i got her the woodland ones and then the last gift that i got jade is a little like changing station for babies she's been really into babies lately because she just got one in her love every box and then she just got a whole basket of babies for her birthday they are so cute they're like little soft babies and then their clothing actually comes off so you can change their babies and actually all of my kids have been really into babies lately so they actually are using my little changing pad that came in my diaper bag they have that in their playroom and they've been using that for their dolls lately so i decided to actually get them like a kid version so it's super cute it has rainbows all over it and then it like opens up it has like a little handle so you can carry it it comes with like a bottle diaper rash cream wipes and then two little cloth diapers so it's a really cute fun set i think jade will really love that so that is everything that i ended up getting for jade so now i'm gonna jump into aurora's gifts so aurora right now currently is three years old but her birthday is the 21st so just a couple days before christmas so she is about to be four so the first thing that i got aurora and i'm going to kind of whisper here because i feel like the girls are listening to me in the room so the first thing that i got aurora is this little animal matching game so there's 14 matching pairs in here so since i've been working on homeschool with aurora this year i've been teaching her a lot of different things so this will be really handy for that too because the pictures are realistic so they're not cartoon looking at all so really good for a young child if you're starting to like teach them their animals and stuff and i also appreciate that these are wooden too oops so here's what they look like so the next thing that i got aurora is a set of dinosaurs she's been really into dinos lately so i figured she would love these so here's what one of them looks like i got this set off of amazon and these were the most realistic ones that i could find let me see if i can find the t-rex so, so here's what the t-rex looks like i don't know about you guys but that looks pretty realistic to me it looks like the t-rex in the jurassic park movie so highly recommend these they feel like they're really good quality too they're actually kind of on the heavy side so the next thing that i got her is a little flower building set so it looks like this i'll put a picture on the screen so you guys can see it better but it's a little flower garden building set so it comes in this really cool carrying case which is perfect for cleanup 
and then it just has like a little um, pot in here I believe and then it has like a bunch of different stems and a bunch of different petals and a bunch of different leaves next I got her a little wooden play phone and I would not recommend this to you guys it's like a little red strawberry phone but the quality of this is absolutely terrible so I'm debating on if I want to give this to her for Christmas or if I want to buy a different one because I feel like this is just not going to last because it's really flimsy and I've already had to fix it. First of all, the package came in really like squished in the mail and I tried returning it and it was just a huge hassle so I ended up keeping it. So I would not recommend this to you guys. I'll put another one on the screen that I've been eyeing that I might buy instead of this one because I just feel like this will not last. So here's what the phone looks like anyways. It is really adorable. I wanted like an old style phone. So this definitely is that, but it just feels really flimsy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I had to super glue these because this whole thing right here was broken. So I feel like if Jade gets a hold of this, it will definitely end up breaking. So it is really cute, but would not recommend that. So the next thing that I got Aurora is a little like number puzzle sort thing. So it's called Poke a Dot Jumbo Number Learning Cards. This is by the brand Melissa and Doug. These had really good reviews. It has numbers one through 10. It also has shapes and colors. So it's just a little like puzzle number color learning thing. She's really into puzzles and she's also really like into learning right now. So I figured she would really love this. Next thing that I got her is a little tea set. I got the girls a tea set last year for Christmas and Aurora stuck slime in it not that long ago and I tried cleaning it out. The slime just ruined the tea set. It like seeped into the wood and it was awful. So unfortunately I had to throw it away, but it was so cute. I tried getting the same one this year, but they're always sold out on that tea set. I'll put a picture right here if you guys want to see it. And also I will leave last year's Christmas gifts video linked down below in the description too, if you guys want to watch that and get even more ideas. So this one that I got them is by the brand Hape and it's also a little wooden tea set. So next two gifts are little wooden dolls. These are by the brand Tender Leaf, another one of my favorite brands, especially for wooden toys. They are so cute. The little dolls are my favorite. I did get them a new um, dollhouse this year too. So I'll share that with you guys in a little bit. So I totally forgot to show you guys the dollhouse. So I'm inserting this clip while I'm editing. So I ended up getting them the Melissa and Doug one. It's the multi level dollhouse. I think they will really love it. It comes with 19 wooden furniture pieces. So it seems like a really good dollhouse. It had a lot of good reviews. So this is another um, Santa gift that is going to be for all three of them. The other doll is back ordered, but I'll put a picture on the screen. So the other one is so adorable, probably my favorite doll that I got them. It has like a little baby on the ring sling on her back. It is so stinking cute. And then this one has a little um, cat. I'm not sure if you guys can see that because it's on the side. So I just got her two dolls to go with the dollhouse. Next is a lacing bead toy so she can work on her like fine motor skills. So it comes with this little string and then on the end of the strings it has these little wooden sticks that way it's easy for your child to like put the beads on the string and then it just comes with a bunch of wooden like animals and trees there's some fruits and veggies in here so just a ton of different beads so the last big gift that i got aurora that is going underneath the christmas tree is a lol doll my girls are obsessed with these, they ask for them all the time. So this one is the Remix Hair Flip Doll. So that's what it looks like. Whenever I do buy LOLs for my girls, I always do my research on them, though 
beforehand because some of them are a little too much for me i'm sure you moms know what i'm talking about so whenever i do buy my girls lols i just do the research because there's a ton of different ones out there there's like the baby ones and then the bigger ones that are kind of like brat dolls and there's just a bunch of different series so i always do my research on them these ones seem to be good because i looked up like the whole series so i can see every single doll that's a possibility for them to get because it is a surprise whenever they open these so just my little tip if you are hesitant on buying lols is just to look up the series beforehand so you can see what kind of dolls that your child could possibly get in it so the next gifts that i have for aurora are going in her stocking if you don't know what these are they are basically like mini toys of realistic things in your house such as spam pez candies um mentos so weird i find it so odd that so many kids are obsessed with these but whatever these are going in my kids stocking so i got aurora two of those the next thing is a play silk two so i got her a zebra play silk next thing that is going in aurora's stocking is a chapstick this is by the brand treat beauty i believe and i love their chapsticks because one they are jumbo size they're like the size of a glue stick so they're really jumbo which is perfect for younger kids like aurora because they're easy for them to grasp and they don't lose them that easily because they're so big and then another reason why i love them is because their scents they have really cool scents they have like peanut butter and jelly um pina colada um they even have like matcha bubble gum cotton candy so just a ton of fun um scents so i got that for her and i got her the bubble gum one so the next thing that i have for her stocking is a highlights book who remembers these i love these as a child especially whenever my mom would take me like to the dentist or the doctor's office and they had these i would always sit there and do them i thought they were so fun so i got this for her stocking so this is their christmas book so it has puffy stickers in here and then it just has like a bunch of like christmas puzzles hidden pictures just like a bunch of fun things in here so i figured she would love that another thing that is going in her stocking but i haven't got it yet either because it's coming from etsy and etsy is a lot of like smaller shops if you're not familiar with etsy so sometimes shipping can kind of take long so i haven't got that but it is a little um christmas bath bomb the girls are obsessed with taking baths so i am going to put a bath bomb in her stocking so that is everything that I got for Aurora. So now we will jump into Layla's gifts. So again, Layla is my eight year old and it's actually kind of funny because this was like one of the number one things that she had on her Christmas list. But if you watched my previous vlog for Layla's eighth birthday, we did take her to Legoland and as a um, present, we gave her like a hundred dollar limit to spend in Legoland on whatever she wanted and this was one of the toys that she bought I completely spaced on this like Lego set I totally forgot that it was this one that she asked me for because there was a couple ones that she was in between so I didn't even realize that I had bought it for her until we got back from Legoland and I was looking through all of the Christmas presents organizing them and I realized that it was the same exact one. And since I bought these gifts in October, I can't return them anymore. So I'm not sure if I'm going to wrap this up, put it under the tree, or if I should just give it to Aurora or just still give it to Layla and she'll have two of them. I'm not too sure yet, but I got her that. So the next thing that I got her is also one of those um, LOL hair flip dolls i guess i'll get the stocking stuff out of the way because i kind of got um the same things that aurora got for her stocking so again those mini brand balls so two of those i also got her the highlights book i got her a play soap too but i got her the giraffe print because giraffes are her favorite animal 
And then I also got her um, one of the chapsticks. I got her the cotton candy scent. And then I also did order her a bath bomb too, but they haven't come in like I said. So that is all of her stocking stuffers. So the next things are all of the gifts that are going underneath the tree. First thing is a friendship bracelet maker. Layla has really been into like bracelets and just like jewelry. Um, whenever we went to the hospital for Layla, cause she had to get her appendix out if you guys saw that video. So when we were in the hospital, we actually made a bunch of friendship bracelets and I was showing her how to make them and she was like super interested in it. So I got her one of these because the end actually stays on the top right here. So you can make them really easily. And then it has like a pull out drawer so you can put all of the strings. I thought this would be really cool for me and her to do together. So I got her one of those thing that I got her is a little um, mixer set. I'll put a picture here on screen so you guys can see it better because they put my shipping label right over the picture. Oh, here's a little picture for you guys. So it's just a little wooden mixer. The girls are also getting a new um, play kitchen this year. My mom is getting them that for Christmas. We have a play kitchen in our playroom right now, but we've had it for goodness since Rory was about like a year old and now she's about to be four so we've had it for a really long time and it's just starting to fall apart now like the door has fallen off repeatedly and Benny has fixed it but he's fixed it so many times that it's just stripped and it just does not stay on good so my mom is actually getting them the Ikea kitchen so since we're getting a new kitchen I would figured I would get them a bunch of like accessories so I got Layla the mixer. It's really cute. It has like little cookies. It has milk, um, the flour, the sugar, an egg. And then I also got her the little wooden blender. This has been on her list forever. So I'm really excited to give her this because this was also like one of the number one things that she wanted. So it's a little wooden blender, it has some cut up fruit that Velcros together so your child can actually use a little wooden knife that comes with it and then they can cut it. Comes with two cups, two straws, and then a little like cutting board. So she also asked me for a toaster too. So this one is by the brand Tuki Toy and it comes with the little wooden toaster, two slices of bread, um, a little um, strawberry jam jar, some strawberry jam, some cheese, a plate, and then a little wooden knife. And the toaster actually does like pop up too. I also got Layla two of those tender leaf wooden dolls. So I got her this little boy that has a skateboard. And then I also got her a mom doll that also has the little baby with the ring sling, which I think is just so cute because I have a ring sling and I wear Jade in the ring sling. So I just thought it was so cute that the little doll has a ring sling too. So I think the girls will really love those. And then the last big gift that I have for her is a little game. Whenever we were in the hospital, they had a break the ice game, but they had the original one. And we were playing it and Layla seemed to really like it. So I figured I would get her the game. If you don't know what Break the Ice is, it looks like this. It has little like um, pretend ice cubes. And then you take the little ice pick and then you and your opponent take turns um, like hitting the things. And if you um, knock down the person in the middle, you lose. So S-A-N-T-A. -A. So the way we do it in my household is Majority of the gifts come from myself and my husband and only a handful of gifts come from You know who so that's kind of how we do it And then another thing that we kind of do is whenever gifts are from We kind of don't do like individual gifts really we kind of do like gifts that are for all of my children so that's kind of how we do it in my household if you do it differently that is totally fine if you only do like one gift from him that's cool if you do like multiple gifts from him 
there's totally like different ways to go about it so that's kind of just how we do it in my household so the first gift is for both layla and aurora there isn't a designated doll so like anna isn't just for rory this is for both of them to share so they are both getting anna and elsa so this is from frozen 2 so it comes with two different dresses, two different shoes, so they can change up the dresses if they want. I'm not too sure what the brand name is, but like I said, I'll have everything linked below. So there's like a spoon in here, a knife. Um, there's like a little stand where you can put the salt and pepper shakers on. Um, there's a little cutting board. And then there's like the pots and pans. So just a bunch of different little things in here. The quality is really good too. So the last you know what gift, and this is actually the last gift in this haul. So this is for all three of them. So this is for Layla, Aurora, and Jade. So this is building magnetic tiles. We have this set already because I bought them this last year for Christmas. And it's probably like one of our number one toys that get played with in the playroom. So they've been asking me for another set. That way they can just, you know, really expand the stuff that they build because they're kind of limited whenever they have like a certain amount of tiles, especially when all three of them are playing. So I figured another 100 piece set would be perfect so they can just build you know bigger towers and whatever they build and they build so many things too especially layla she is so creative with these so that is actually all of the gifts so that is everything that i got my kids for christmas 2021 don't forget to check out the description for links. I'll also have links to my gift guides. I'll also have the link for last year's what I got my kids for Christmas, but I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know in the comments down below where you guys are getting your kids for Christmas, how you do S-A-N-T-A for your household, or maybe you don't do it. Let me know some Christmas traditions that you guys do too. I would love to just have like a whole chat with you guys down below in the comments. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Man Family and make sure you hit that bell that we guys always get notified every single time we upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.